Have you reached the point where you just about hate the other political party? I mean, seriously, how could they possibly feel that way about immigration, race, abortion, tax policy, gay rights? It's crazy. To feel the way they do, they must be idiots or even worse, just downright evil. So to make sure they understand just how foolish they are, you look to attack. To point out the absurdity of their positions, the ill effects, the lives ruined, you take to social media, you engage your like-minded friends to make your case for how these fools have to be stopped. And nothing changes. In fact, those idiots seem to become even more hardened in their positions. What's wrong with this picture? Why can't these fools be persuaded? Well, let's start here. First of all, you're making yourself miserable with all the work you're doing trying to make your points. Because you're taking your cues from the wrong folks. These folks. The exact people who benefit from all the fighting. Think about it for a moment. What would pro wrestling be like if it wasn't for the bad guys? It's the same with politics. You wouldn't tune in or give politicians money if there was no conflict. Now, unfortunately for you, it turns out that people don't listen when you approach them like they're an idiot. When you assume you have all the right info and they all the wrong. You end up as close-minded as the worst of them. So maybe, maybe you should try a different approach when dealing with your perceived enemies. Maybe you should be taking your cues from a different source. Now, before you're inclined to press stop, hang with me for one more minute. I'm going to quote a little scripture, but relax. You don't have to believe the Bible's inspired to assess whether or not you think this will work. Be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. When I read these scriptures, I'm reminded that people are much more receptive to me when I, number one, hear them out, and number two, when I realize that their argument, however different from mine, is relevant to them. Now, my interactions don't always result in either one of us changing our minds, but there is meaningful dialogue that gets us closer to a solution. These respectful conversations remind both of us that we're in this together, and we're going to have to work with one another if we want a better country for our children. This is not the solution. You know it doesn't work because you've been trying it for years with nothing but frustration to show for your efforts. It's time to engage with one another differently. We have two ears and one mouth. Use them in those proportions and we've got a fighting chance to right this ship. If you want to be more persuasive, you got to be willing to try something different. Lead the change you hope to see in this country.